Uh, my name is Rebecca and I'm a postdoctoral researcher as part of Vistamilk within the Nutrition Research Centre Ireland within the School of Health Sciences at the Waterford Institute of Technology. So, um, my role at Vistamilk is to work with our team to design and inter uh, implement a nutritional intervention trial. And the aim of this research, which is supported by Science for Nation Ireland, is to improve the nutritional content of the human diet by developing a nutritionally superior or fortified dairy product for the general population. Okay. So um, the, the dairy product that we're designing will be fortified with a high amount of nutrients called carotenoids. And carotenoids are plant-based pigments and they give fruits and vegetables and some other foods there their bright colours. So a tomato is red because of a carotenoid called lycopene. Uh, a carrot is orange because of a carotenoid called beta carotene. Um, the yolk of an egg is yellow because of the carotenoid lutein. So a lot of the work by our research group and others has shown that when we consume high amounts of carotenoids, for example, via a food supplement, we can improve our eye health. So our vision is sharper. We don't suffer from glare as much. Um, and our brain health as well, where we've seen improvements in reaction time, attention, and certain types of memory. And we believe that these nutrients are important for our eyes and for our brain, primarily due to their antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Unfortunately, the evidence to date says that we don't eat enough of these nutrients in order to reap their benefits. Our diets are suboptimal. And while we've seen very positive results with carotenoids in the form of a food supplement, not everybody wants to and not everybody is able to take a food supplement every day. So part of the Vistamil project is to address this challenge by designing a dairy product that has a high amount of uh, these important nutrients. So my role is going to be to test this fortified dairy product in a nutritional intervention trial. And that will involve a sample of people from the general public. So half of the people in the trial will consume a fortified pro dairy product and the other half will consume a dairy product that's not fortified. So this will be known as the placebo. And we will measure their carotenoid levels, their vision and some domains of cognition, things like reaction time. And we will do this at the beginning and at the end of the trial. And then we compare our results over time and between both groups. Um, well, I believe that this research is important because carotenoids are very important for our health and in particular our eye health and our brain health. The evidence to date tells us that we need high amounts of these nutrients in our body in order for them to exhibit their antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, but we don't get enough of these nutrients from our diet. So there's an opportunity for a fortified food to bridge that gap between what our body needs and what we can get from our diet. And we believe that using a dairy product as a vehicle for carotenoids will enhance the delivery of these nutrients into the body. And this is because carotenoids are fat soluble. And that means that they are absorbed easily into the body when their um, fat molecules are present, um, which dairy products like milk and yogurt have a lot of. So it's like we can get a busload of carotenoids into our body um, when fat is present versus a car load without the presence of, of fat molecules. from others as well has shown that these patients have very very poor levels of nutrition and some of the reasons why a person with Alzheimer's disease um, might have a poor diet uh, include simply forgetting to eat or finding it difficult to actually carry out the many steps that are involved in preparing a meal and cooking a meal and other patients then develop a condition where they find it very hard to swallow food. So currently there is a fortified dairy product that's prescribed by medical doctors to Alzheimer's patients. And this product is, is easy for the patients to swallow and it contains protein and vitamins and minerals, but it does not contain carotenoids. So I think it would be really great to test the impact of a carotenoid enriched dairy product in patients with Alzheimer's disease to see if we can help improve their nutrition levels in this way. Uh, milk matters to me because, well, it's the foundation for making other dairy products that I like to cook with and to eat. So foods like butter, cheese, yogurt, ice cream. Um, mm. More importantly, 
<laughs> more importantly, milk matters to me because it's important for my health. Um, for example, milk gives me the protein that I need to repair my muscles after exercising. And it also provides me with calcium to keep my bones healthy, which is just not just important for my health now, but also when I'm older.